Karnataka is a beautiful state known for its rich forests and variegated wildlife. Asian elephants are among the most widespread wild animals in this state. City dwellers may never see a wild elephant, but deep in the rural areas of this state, people still live, surrounded by them. They have a deeply spiritual connection with the wilderness. Millions of Hindus still worship Ganesh, the elephant god. But, these sacred animals continue to face threat from humans. For centuries, a vast uninterrupted forest stretching from Karnataka across Tamil Nadu and Kerala had served as a migratory corridor for elephants. But, in recent years, human incursions into this area have affected this traditional elephant territory. These majestic creatures are locked, with these people, in a desperate struggle for life and space. Both the people and wild elephants are seen competing for the same resource and land, and the elephants are clearly losing this battle. Kodagu is a thickly wooded stretch of the western fats of Karnataka. This district is home to some exotic varieties of tree species and wild animals. No doubt this place is a paradise for nature lovers, but it is important to note that the man-elephant conflict is at an extreme level, in this area. The battle between the people of Kadagu and the wild elephants seems to be never-ending. A 200-strong herd of elephants, on the Kadagu and Kerala border, has nowhere else to go. Development work in their corridor has forced them to come into contact with humans. With the shrinking of forest land and the elephant corridor, these majestic creatures are seen venturing into the crop fields and tea plantation, thereby getting into conflict with humans and killing anyone who gets in their way. The southern part of Kadagu has many coffee estates where robusta and arabica coffee plants are grown. These plants are grown on gentle slopes to fairly level fields. 
they are considerably bigger in size as compared to other coffee plants. This makes it a paradise for the elephants, as the coffee plants give them protection while there is plenty of food on offer in the plantations. The disturbance and plundering of the elephants' habitat has forced them to prowl roads frequented by a host of people including school-going children. This has put the tribal population of this area directly at risk. In the year 1873, the state witnessed the first Keta operation. Keta is the name that has been given to the adventurous and heroic action of capturing wild elephants. The main objective of this operation was to check the increase in the number of wild elephants, which are often a menace to agricultural crops. During this operation, a herd of wild elephants are rounded up and are successfully driven to the impregnable barricade. They are fettered with strong ropes with the help of the tamed and trained elephants. About 55 wild elephants were captured during the first Keta operation. Since then 35 Ketas have been conducted, capturing more than 1,800 elephants in the state. This rare drama of capturing the wild elephants has attracted many foreign tourists. The River Drive in the year 1972 is remembered for having drawn hundreds of foreign tourists. One of the most famous elephants, Drona, which was the lead Desera elephant of the famous Jambo Savari of Mysore Desera, was captured in a Keta operation. Drona also used to carry timber in Shimoga district. However, a mishap involving high tension power cables electrocuted him to death. In 2014, Karnataka Forest Department trapped 22 wild pachyderms and rehabilitated them to elephant camps in order to reduce the man-animal conflict. The operation was conducted in a span of seven months 